of Vijay Group of Hospitals, Chennai. Uh, we have introduced this dozy bed uh, a few months ago, especially for uh, critical patients who are the step down patients from the critical wards. And uh, we have found this technology, which is very helpful for our nursing and for our doctors because they are able to uh, reach the patient and shift the patient out uh, from, the, uh, from the wards to the ICU, depending on the condition. So I think this technology is going to be of a great help uh, to the healthcare industry. And, I, and we, will, we are planning to scale up our uh, beds also uh, in, in a short while, depending on the outcomes of the operations. So how many beds have adopted this system as of now? Pardon me? How many beds have adopted this we, system? We have around 15 to 20 beds okay. at present. Yeah. Whether the patients have to pay any additional cost for this? Uh, it's very min minimal and like uh, uh, Mr. Gaurav has said, uh, the insurance is covering it, so it should. It, it's a boon for the patients. No, it is from pocket. Is pocket. No, the patient is uh, paying is from his pocket. How much? Insurance. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's very minimum. It must be around three hundred to four hundred per patient. Per patient. Yes. Uh, my name is Gaurav Parchani. I am the CTO and co-founder of Dozi. Yeah. Uh, as mentioned, Dozi is uh, a contactless remote patient monitor and an AI-powered early warning system. So, purely Sorry? Like in India. Yeah, it is completely made in India. Atmanirbhar uh, Bharat, uh, you're absolutely correct. Uh, manufacturing also happens in India and our entire design and development uh, of the software, machine learning, hardware, everything happens in India. How long the system is working in uh, India? So uh, we are a seven-year-old company, uh, but we have de deployed these solutions at the beginning of COVID in hospitals. Uh, till then, it was more of research and development and productization. So in 2020, we started deploying this in COVID wards uh, to convert COVID wards into connected HDU beds or connected COVID HDU beds. Uh, we presented this in multiple government hospitals, some of the nam names uh, mentioned by our team. Uh, beyond that, also, we had uh, SVPP Hospital in Delhi, uh, Victoria Hospital in Bangalore, Bangalore Medical College, uh, MR Bangalore in Calcutta, and many more COVID hospitals uh, were using it that time. In 2022, when COVID started going away, uh, we started looking at the non-COVID use case. So post-operative, as ma'am mentioned, step-down facilities for patients that are coming out of ICUs, critical patients, cardiac wards, nephro wards, and other wards as well. So beyond COVID, we started.